Hey, it's you. Welcome. Where have you been? Where have I been? Where should we all go? Those are all good questions. Not ones we're going to answer today. However, we are here for an important reason because I tell you what, when we're talking, what's my word? Bat shit crazy. Well, there's more of it. I'm telling you, I could not believe my eyes when this came home. Yes, it did. It came home into my home and I just couldn't believe it. You're not going to believe it either. I cannot believe the decisions that the people that are in control and making choices for not only us, but our kids are making choices like this. <laughs> it is just mind boggling. It makes no sense whatsoever. And we all need to start speaking up about it. We all need to start saying, come on now, use some common sense, right? You're being, what is it? Bat shit crazy. Yep. So that being said, hold on to your seats. Hold on. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look now. Don't look. I'm going to put this on. You're going to just be amazed. Now, most of you, if I can get this to stay on, because I don't have them big old Dumbo ears, most of you are going to say right now, well, what's so special about that, Rip? I'm going to show you. Look. Uh, right now some of you are just cracking up dying right now just like i am because i am cracking up dying right now and no i didn't go down to castle superstore and pick me up something for my blow up mistress okay i didn't do it although you know what i'm saying this is just getting a little bit too far now some of you are thinking that this is something from the cdc or or centers of safe sex or something like that. No, it's not from that either. And I'm not a doctor and I'm not referring to anything. But you're not going to believe who this came home with. That's right. Not my blow up mistress. Nope. She don't need one. She's had her shot. <laughs> right? Okay. This came home with my daughter. I know. You guys are about ready to fall over. I was too. This came from my daughter for, guess what? Guess it? Put it in the description section. But I'm going to tell you anyway. But put it in there first right now. Put it in there. No cheating. And I'll see if you could guess. Which kind of teacher and class sent this home? If you said banned, you're right. <laughs> Now, I know there are some bandies out there where something like this may not be too uh, much of a stretch, right? But this came home so that they could practice socially responsible music making. That's right. Socially responsible music making. Now, I don't see how this is helping anything because, you know, when it's like this, it's not really a mask mask. It don't have no filters or anything in it. In fact, it don't even fit well. And the bands are so big and all of that. And it just blows out from here and just makes it hard to breathe all together. But how is that right there going to really do anything different? I don't know. And the uh, first thing I thought of, and I know you're thinking about it, what about all the spit coming out of the end of the instrument? Well, they got instrument condoms too. Yes, they do. I think they call them shields or, or some sort of thing on the end. But anyway, they're instrument condoms. It doesn't make no sense, right? How about this? Space them out a little bit. It's marching in a field. You got the whole field. Get them six feet apart, right? And when they're in class, which they don't do anymore, or if they're practicing on site, spread them out, right? Have them wear their masks when they're not playing, right? If that's what you need to do. I mean, I know everybody's got their own thoughts on that. And I know you're still cracking up over this thing. I am too, because I had all kinds of visions going on in my head. 
Yep, the same ones you are, Arkansas. And Northern Girl Hobbies, I know the ones you're having. Knock it off. It's my daughter, okay? But I got to say, it's obscene. I almost want to stick it in an envelope saying, no, thank you. My daughter doesn't need a blow-up mask protection device. Right? Right. Okay. I thought you guys would all get a kick out of this. Please be sure to put all the comments you got, because I know you got them, and uh, put them in the comment section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this one. And man, I'll tell you what, if there was ever a video to share everywhere on every platform, make it go viral, everything like that, this is it, because this is absurd and obscene. It's crazy. I'm telling you, we're going... We're going out of our minds here. It's no wonder people are chucking lead at each other for shoveling snow, right? It's tragic. It's got to stop. This is not going to help, right? So be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Ring that bell, please, because I want to see you again. I love seeing each and every one of you, and I love the way this community is growing. We're still getting even closer to the drawing time, so if you haven't gotten in, go see the big giveaway drawing video. Get signed up. Right, because we're just looking at 4,000 and we're just shy of that. Well, not just shy, but we're under 4,000, but we've been making a lot of progress. Let me tell you what, we're over three. That's awesome. You guys are awesome. Everybody that's new, you're awesome, and you're going to find out just how much in this channel. But aside from that, if you guys can blow it past, which just my this video might blow it past to 5,000, I'll add another box, just like I said. And of course, there's no cost to any of this. This is because I love you and I want to give you a start in prepping. So be sure to be safe, secure, aware of your surroundings, and always be prepared for what may come your way, including a blow-up mistress with a mask like this. I love all of you guys. Until next time, adios.